Now it's time to talk about Coach Jones, what he needs to talk about today, man. Holla at us about what the Lions need to do on defense to go ahead and win this game down here on Christmas Eve. First things first, I noticed uh, on the NFL Network, well, you know, they got the st- who's the start and who's the sit in fantasy football. Mm-hmm. For the first time in forever that I can remember, De- Deontay Foreman was a sit this week. Yep. That's, that's props to the Lions D-line, man. That's props to the line, But that front seven, wow, wow. Like, the, 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 it, that Jets linebacker, the Jets running back last week was a start. Last week, yeah, the, Jets, yeah, the, the well, Bam, whatever his name, Bam, whatever yeah. Bam Washington, whatever his name is, he was yeah. a start last week. Mm-hmm. I mean, every oh, every running back before that the Lions played against was a start. Like, if you were playing against the Lions, you were an automatic start. And this mm-hmm. is the first time in in week sixteen that the running back for the Lions is a sit. And I just think mm-hmm. that should be that should be that should be shout out to NFL Network for mm-hmm. knowing how it go down. But um, you know what? I'm not so in that in that sense. I'm not worried about our our front. I'm not worried about the front seven. Um, now I think Derek Barnes should be back. So I think we're gonna have to go with more of a traditional four three. Um, I don't think we can go to the four two five with the third safety on the field because Deshaun Elliott. You know you are gonna bring that up. Uh, in the in the in the latest injury report, man. But I just think we should go to. The four three. I think we should play Anzalone, um, Rodrigo, and Derek Barnes. Maybe slide in Chris Borden there. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I just think that we should go that route, especially with our D line being slow, so, so many, so deep that we can we can uh, afford the four linemen. Um, that back end, man. Uh, we we need to go. We need to. It's gonna be rough, man, because Deshaun Elliott is out. Uh, I think, and and who's gonna communicate to those guys on that back end? Because if you if you remember early in the season, there was a lot of this going on. Like you know what I'm saying, and I don't want that communication to break down because communication has been so good. Everybody's been on the same page. Um, that I just don't want that to happen, and I'm also scared that DJ Moore is gonna get naked. Uh, DJ Moore. Oh. DJ Moore gonna line up in that slot on Will Harris and get loose, uh, <laughs> man. I'm because DJ Moore can move around. And, Will it? Uh, that that's that's what I fear, man. DJ Moore pre snap, he was oh Will Harris is over there. Well, let me go and motion myself over there then. <laughs> and uh, man, and that that's that's the only thing I'm really scared. I'm not scared of their passing attack. I'm scared of DJ Moore motioning to the side of Will Harris zone and then running routes on him, man. And that's the only that's the only part of the Panthers uh offense that makes me nervous. Sack Sam Darnold. Pittsburgh got at him four times. We can do that. I think our pass rush right now at this point, not saying that historically, but I think our pass rush right now is better than Pittsburgh's. Um, so I think we can get to Sam Darnold. If they put him on the ground four times, I think we can put him on the ground maybe at least four or maybe five. Five times. Stay stout against that run, man. Make make sure that they um make sure that they get punished uh trying to run that ball anywhere near the line of scrimmage, man. Just go ahead and they need to make him one dimensional and communicate on that back end. Like you said, man, they got some speedy receivers that DJ Moore, you got to communicate. That's gonna be the biggest thing. Communication is make sure we know who the hell got who on that back end so we can lock <laughs> that coverage out. Cause I don't want I don't want you to be like, hey man, it wasn't me, man. I ain't here. You know what I'm saying? We don't want the shaggy defense, man. It wasn't me on the, on the back end of our defense. <laughs> so what you got here, man? Uh, defensively, uh, you know, um, like too much. Not gonna repeat too much of what you guys said. Stop the run on the way to the quarterback. Um, I feel like we do. We have been doing a decent job of that, and especially uh, over recent weeks. Um, but like I said, stop the run, make them throw it, and take it away from them. Sam Darnold. We'll get that mug up. If if this is a game where Sam Donald just pull a rabbit out of his hat, then that's what it's gonna have to be. But it's gonna have to be Sam Donald, and you know it's more likely that he'll throw us the game than, than win the game. So let's do that. Yeah, definitely. If Sam Donald pull that rabbit out of his hat, I'm blaming Kurt. Uh, <laughs> I'm blaming Willie. 
hey, to hear what myself and LL had to say about this topic, man, tune into the full version of today's Lifestyle Detroit Lions Talk, presented by Detroit Lions on the Prowl, right here on your home for Detroit Lions News and Rumors.